Hey, welcome back to Cover That Reef. Okay, so we got this job all finished up. So it's pretty fun. Got the old wood shake roof all tore off. Got the new plywood put on, the base paper put on, the tile roof loaded, tile put on, the ridge put on, everything done, all finished. Pretty excited we get to move on to the next job. This was a Burrell Cedar Light lightweight roof tile. So as you can see, looks pretty awesome. Got that all done. So you can see what was from in the back. Got it all finished up. So we're gonna be moving off to the next project. And that's it. Hey, so you can look for the time-lapse photography of this job. It looks awesome. Shows the tear off everything, just boom, 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 boom. Everything's flipped off, came out great. And this was a really good job. I was really happy with it, very excited. And we can't wait to move on to the next job. So that's a wrap from Palos Verdes Estates. Just finished a cedar light job. And we'll see you on the next job. Until next time, your roof is covered. What's up, fellas? How's it going, Joe? Yeah, man, it's going good. I guess I better not step there anymore, huh? Yeah. It's just cutting away, cutting away. Looking good, my cutting new away. roof. Yep. How about that? Yep, and this kind of goes yeah. like this. See, Carlos, as you can see, yeah. Rob is doing all the work, right? <laughs> yeah. Here we got a diamond blade. This is a diamond no, 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 blade. Start right again. Here. Ready? Go. Hey, welcome back to Cover That Roof. Okay, so right here we got a diamond blade, and this works perfect to cut through the tile. So that's what we want to do. So on this row right here, it doesn't go all the way up the top, so we actually have to cut off the piece. So let's do that. So we're going to cut this. Wow, what a perfect cut. Just lays just like that. So now we just want to keep repeating the cycle. Looks good, guys. Thank you. Tools, hold on. Yeah. These for me are tools. Hold on. Yeah. And I just broke a piece. Who cares? That's that's only five dollars. Just add it to right. the bill. Ready? I don't know, I don't know how into...
into, you know. Hey, welcome back to Cover That Roof. Okay, so as you can see, we're just about getting this roof all finished up. Got all the cuts made perfect, valley cut in. Got to add a dormer vent over here. Over here, we got to put some vents. Big skylight right here. Pipe flashings. Vents. So that this is a dormer vent. Got a few of them on here. I'm gonna put a couple right over in here. Then we gotta put a couple over here too as well. So, just wanna keep moving. It's coming out pretty good. Different view of the roof. Got a couple vents back here. Pretty nice roof. Getting it all together. Getting the valley cut in over on that side. Getting the hip put in. Hey, welcome back to Cover That Roof. Okay, so you can see we're just about closing down the job. Got this all done. Look how nice that corner came out. Awesome job. Although we didn't do the fascia board, but we did the edge metal and the cement in the end on that. So that came out awesome. Dormer vents. You can see we got it in. So our little side vent came out pretty nice. Took a little bit of work. Came out pretty pretty great. So we got a few more rows here to lay. Hey, welcome back to Cover That Roof. Okay, so we have this uh, cedar light roof. It's all finished. And we're here with the homeowner, Joe. And he's got a few words to say about what was going on. So what do you think of the whole process, Joe? You saw it from the tear off, installed the plywood, the base paper, putting it on the actual tiles, the ridge. What do you think about that? I, I think what struck me more than anything was the amount of work that went into it. The, the number of people who were here and, um, you know, if you, you think to yourself for a second, you know, that you can make your own roof, get ready, uh, just, looking at some of the time lapse that we were able to shoot I realized that um, at, at times it was a 20 person job there's a lot of work that goes into it and now I've got a new lid on my house and I'm happy with it it looks beautiful okay so we're excited about that just want to thank uh, Joe for giving us the opportunity to work on his project so uh, look for us on our next project and we'll see you next time <laughs>